Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to Fallout 76, where today we're going to go into the order of the tadpole. This is the scout troop quest line. We're going to get yourself a backpack, the beginning backpack anyway, and we'll show you how to do that right now. Now this poster right here, the scout poster, you can actually get it in the atomic shop. It uh, It's free, doesn't cost you anything, or you can go to a train station and you can go ahead, or there's, they're going to be around the, the map. So as soon as you see one of these, you can just go ahead and click on it, read it, and it'll, and it'll tell you exactly where you need to go, and then you just show up on your map. And you can go ahead and just head on over. Uh, we have to go to the Camp Lewis to enlist today. So why don't we go ahead and... Um, where's Camp Lewis at? It is, is it, directly th east of Grafton. Okay. Camp Lewis. All right. Mr. Hoax is over there, too. All right. I'm going to go to, the, I guess, Pioneer Scout Camp right here. That's where we're going, right? Yeah, that's where we're going. Okay, cool. I'll meet you there. Or you can piggyback off me. Okay. Join the Order of the Tadpole. Join your lo local Pioneer Scout Troop. Camp Lewis, Order 451, Pioneer Scouts of West Virginia area. All right, guys, when you get here, you're going to have on, the other, on both sides of this median, you're going to have, or this kiosk, you're going to have two vending machines. On this side, you're going to have the tadpole vending machine. On the other side, it's going to be the possum vending machine. The possum vending machine is the one that has all of the mods for your backpacks. Now, that is actually, you have to graduate from tadpole to get to possum, and you have to do three tadpole quest to be able to get to the possum level and then you have to do the then you unlock the possum level and you have to do possum quests to be able to purchase the mods for your backpack after you get your backpack so that is is a, like a multi-step process and we're going to show you how to do all that at least to get to possum from here all right from that vendor go east in the camp until you find the scout leader jaggy and then once you find the scout leader Jackie, he's a little robot right there in front of me. Listen to what he has to say. He's going to tell you you have to demonstrate four pioneer scout values. Okay? You have to listen to the, the entire speech, and you have to learn four pioneer scout values. Okay? The first one, at least the first one that we did, was to clean up the cabins, which is to clean up toxic mut mutagenic waste. Which To do that, you have to talk to pioneer scout leader Pompey. And if you look on your map, it's going to show you where he's at. So he's just a little bit north of where you're at, I think. Or he's really, really close to where you're at. So that's where you're going to find him. Now, once you find him, listen to what he has to say. And he'll, it'll, it'll open up the Operation Tidy repeatable quest. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go around and look for golden globs of waste that are on the ground in the area. You can look on your map, and it's going to show you where they're at. And it's different for every person. So it's, it's actually instanced, the quest is instanced, so they'll appear to you and you'll be able to collect, there's five of them in the quest, and once you do that, then look on your map and find the dump the toxic waste into the containment barrel icon, and then just go over there, dump all of that into the containment barrel, and then your quest will be finished. Now, the next one that we did was revive an ally, and that's the kindness part of the, of the quest. So, you have to actually revive an ally, and for, since Monogard and I were together, it was fairly easy because we just had to revive each other. So, if you're with someone, it's definitely going to make it a lot easier on you. And we tried rad stags to knock us down all the way down, and that didn't work out so well. And so, then we finally f settled on super mutants. Because super mutants seem to be, and we're over here at the Grafton Dam, we, super mutants have a little bit of a time when they fire on you where they reload, and that gives you just that little tiny window to where you can revive your ally. And so we were able to revive each other because of them giving us just a split second to where we'd be able to do it rather than instant killing us, like, say, a Deathclaw might or some more powerful enemy that insta kills you right away. You know what I mean? Okay. Now the third part of the quest is the bravery part of the quest, and it's to control pests at Dolly Sods. Now you need to talk to the Pioneer Scout leader Treadley, which is right here on the map, and that's the Dolly Sods campground, and we went ahead and you teleport over there, and be careful with the teleport spot because you see that dead Yagwai? There's a dead, there is a live bear there, so be careful, you may have to kill him. But go in here, hang a right, Talk to the scout leader, Treadley, and he will start repeatable stings and things quest. Now, there's going to be some creatures in here. You're going to have to kill them, so you might want to do that before you actually talk to him. Otherwise, he'll get, uh, it won't interrupt what he's saying, but it's going to be inconvenient for you in the, in the meantime. So he's going to give you several insects that he needs parts for. You may have them in your inventory already or in your, in your storage box, so make sure you look and see what you need. You need five items. You're going to need a bloat fly gland. You're going to need a blood bug 
proboscis, you're going to need a rad roach meat, you're going to need a stingwing barb, and you're going to need a tick blood sack. And although we went all over the map to get those items ourselves, you're going to find those items on your map. They're going to have little circles and it show you the general area where to find them. Now once you have all five items in your inventory, head back over to the cabin, talk to your scout leader Treadley, turn in those five items, and that'll end repeatable Sting and Things quest. It'll be completely completed, but by the way, the animals in that cabin will probably have already respawned and they'll be a little bit different, so, like we found out. So, And the fourth and final part of becoming a scout, ladies and gentlemen, is growth. And you have to actually go to your challenges here. You actually, And there's no way getting around this. You actually have to go down and you have to go to the tadpole quest right here. Now, I have the possum already unlocked because... I already have become a possum, but the tadpole quest, you have to complete three of them. Okay, guys, so for every last one of these challenges, you're actually going to have to go over here to the knowledge exam station, which is going to be right here at the Pioneer Scout Camp. So, it's a little known fact that pine cones have sexes. I don't care. <laughs> oh, he talks so much. All right, here is the terminal, and welcome to camp. This terminal is used for is for taking Pioneer Scout competency exams. If you are already a Pioneer Scout, please select which exam you'd like to take. If you're not yet a Pioneer and you're interested in pioneering, please select Join Pioneer Scouts. I'm already I already am one. Tadpole tadpole uh, scams. Ha <laughs> ha. Tadpole exams. So you're gonna find all of the exams in this terminal, guys, and they have five questions for each one of them. It's gonna change depending on your per on the person, and also if you get it, if you don't get all five right, it's gonna change the questions on you. I'm gonna put a link down below to a website that's gonna give you all of the questions and all of the answers. Okay, how about that? So we're gonna do that anyway, guys. So you think once you get take the exam, that's the first part of any one of these quests, and then you just gotta finish the rest of them. Doesn't matter which three you complete, but you have to complete three of them. Now we completed the archer, we completed the athlete, and we completed the swimmer. Now there's a couple of tips at the end of the video I talk about about these three quests that made it a little bit easier on us. We'll talk about that here in a minute, but you also. You're going to want to craft a camera. Now, to craft a camera, because you're going to have to take pictures in a lot of these quests. So what I suggest you do is go back into my previous video, and I'll put the link to the video down below on how to get a camera, which I did earlier today, and go get yourself a camera right away, because you're going to need a camera for a lot of these quests. But you have to finish at least three of the tadpole quests just to become a possum to get your very first backpack. And then once you finish those three quests, you're going to want to go back to the camp. You're going to want to speak to the scout leader, which is Scout Leader Pompey. And I left a little speech in here because I think it's just cute as hell. And after that, we'll talk about the backpack and our final thoughts on, on, on the whole quest line. That's right. You've graduated to the rank of possum. Aren't you just as pleased as Punch? I'm sure good old Uncle Sam is real proud of you right now. I know that I am. It's a good first step, but there's plenty left to do if you want to make it to the next rank. So get on out there and work on those badges. We got a backpack, standard backpack unlocked. Oh, it's a crafting item, and we got a tadpole backpack. Tadpole backpack. So level 20, uh, damage resistance is 1, carry weight is 30, weight is 1, value is okay, 60. So there's a, there's a tadpole backpack, ladies and gentlemen. Just like that, a little bit uh, tiny. Uh, I like that backpack. It looks good. I like it too. It's cute. Yeah. So that we had the level one backpack, right? Is that right? Uh, level twenty, which is okay. probably the first rank. Level twenty. Okay. You no, know, we can craft a, a level one, a level ten, a twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, so and and the at the level it goes up ten carry weight every single time. So the level fifty backpack, which I'm going to craft right now is 27 cloth, 18 leather, and 19 steel. It is nothing. It is not anything as far as resources go comparatively compared to some things. We're going to make that right now. Oh, and then the backpack mod can be added to any crafted backpack. So I have 60 extra carry weight. I made this. Let's go ahead and put this on and see if it's any different. Standard backpack. All right, it, 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 it's just, a, it's a, just a, a backpack. It didn't have any... It doesn't have, I like it better than the other one because I mean, the logo is fine, 
but you know it's the logo it's it's whatever you know but i can add so 60 carry weight that's amazing that's really good all right guys well i think it's gonna do it we got ourselves our very first backpacks and uh, i think you're gonna like them uh 60 carry weight is considerable if you're over level 50 you know so you're gonna be able to craft those things so anyway, but you know what it's kind of difficult to do the challenges especially if you don't have a partner but i'm gonna go ahead and gonna look at all the challenges and i'm gonna see what the easiest ones are to do for you and see if it can't get you a couple videos so make it a little bit easier on you but anyway guys that's how you get your backpack so you want to add anything else monica um, no, only that I do think we picked the three that are easiest to do. You think so? I think so. Even with I the mean, camera, the camera stuff? Yeah, I, I think so. Just because of the other things that were included with some of those uh, challenges. I mean, there were some that were a lot of photos, but they also had other things in them. Yeah, I mean, we, but, but also we picked ones that we had to have a partner with, like the swimming. We did the swimming challenge and you have to have a partner revive you, or you have to revive someone that is down you don't have to be revived, but you have to revive someone who's down. So you, so actually, if you're a solo player and you take the swimming challenge, uh, I would suggest going to an event where where, where there's water. Where it's, and somebody said the sheep, sheep squatch, the sheep squatch challenge would be the best because there's a body of water where people they go, get down all the time. So if you get into the sheep squatch challenge, you should be able to revive somebody that's down because that 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 robot is like crazy 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 also with the crossbow we did the uh, the archery one so with the crossbows guys if you have weapon smith take it out of your inventory or take it out, out of your perk list because weapon smith is um it, it it causes your it causes your firearms to get destroyed 50 percent less and so we weren't we couldn't our, our crossbows were not getting damaged so we take that perk card out and then you'll be able to fire a few air a few uh, crossbow bolts you won't have a problem what was the last one we did? Oh, oh yeah, and the we did the athletics, right? In the athletic badge, guys, the New River Gorge is actually on the bridge. You start; it's not the old one where it's so difficult to run. That you have to actually, it's a it's a whole foot race across the bridge. So you start on the east side of the bridge. Look for the look for the marker. Look for the the, the sound box, the drive-in box. If you, you guys don't know what a drive-in is, I know. But uh, the drive-in box where you actually talk to them to start the race. It's not where you used to be. It's on the east side of the bridge. It's broken right above Flatwoods. Okay? That's how you, that's, that, that's, everybody thinks it's the old one that's so difficult to run. It's not. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for the video. I hope that helped you out. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I'm my usual me. You be your usual you. And we'll see you in the next video. You want to say goodbye, Monogard? Goodbye. We'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.